incredible. Wow. That's crazy. Something between Gandalf and Star Wars. <laughs> wow. Brilliant. It does alien noises. Wow, I really like the response. The response is amazing. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I gotta get me one of these. Wow. Wow. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's just the craziest thing I've seen in a long time, you know what I mean? But it's going to get a lot of attention. You know, people are going to stop and they're going to go, what the fuck is that? Fucking cool, man. <laughs> it's beautiful. It really feels like nothing I've ever touched before. That's what she said. <laughs> nice. I mean, it's, you know, it's unusual, interesting. Alien, it's quite alien. Wow. <laughs> Everything. In its place. There's a lot of avenues to explore. It's a really interesting, really interesting machine. What's it called? What's it? I need to write this down. What is this called? Cadabra. I've never seen anything like it. I would definitely use it right at the front in the middle of the stage. <laughs> I've been waiting, almost waiting for something like this where it's more about the expression. There's a lot of thought gone into it. It's not just to play a few notes. There's a lot of things going on. What would you rather have, that or an iPad? You know what I mean? It's like, I know what I'd choose. <laughs> yeah, if I had one, I'd definitely, I'd go on stage with it right now. Can I, can I take this one? You could do performance pieces, like a complete work just for that one instrument. You look amazing when you're holding this. Are you kidding? You go with this on stage, people go nuts, you know? I like the fact that you can rock with it and hold it and dance with it. That's really cool. Yeah, in rock and roll for sure. Get 
Zebra is a sort of a new instrument, it's magic. It's like changing dimension or something like this. You know, I'm sure like many musicians are going to be interested because it's a new way of uh, appreciating and creating music, which is always opening your curiosity. Give, give this to any musician, they're going to want to do some things with it that you can't do with another instrument. Whenever I'm playing festivals, I really like to try and create that sort of ancient primal vibe. So this is just perfect. I mean, it's the sort of thing I'd probably run off to the side of the stage and put war paint on to come back on with, you know? It kind of feels like an extension of of your arms, like of your body. So I think that's the most inspiring thing. It's not a, it's not detached from you. It's like a part of you. You know, you're you're connected to it. I think it'd be great to have um, a performance with many of them all together and uh, a sort of cadaver symphony. I think, you know, might be interesting. I'm a singer, so I like the mic when you can play around with the, you know, the sound of your voice. Fucking hell, that's insane. That's insane. Wow, instant Dalek. That's incredible. Notice that my voice changes when I change the key. He learned how to use Kadabra, and you could sing. Whole new potential for a vocalist. I think the thing which really stands out for me is the, it's the microphone and the way you can sing with that and it all comes together. That's a beautiful thing. A million vocal pedals in one, you know, and it's attached to my body, so that's cool. The vocoder is uh, so far my favourite feature, I think. Uh, yeah, crazy. Worth it for the vocoder alone. Control it in real time and play with your voice any way you want, and that's a really cool feature for me. Yeah, great. That could be really good for live. Really good live thing. Because I don't like speaking at gigs, but I definitely speak through that. You start thinking of things that you, you never would have thought of with a normal synthesizer, you know, and I, I kind of like that, you know. This thing has no strings, it's not a keyboard, it's not like something you blow inside. It's just an amazing piece of, it's like, I'm still kind of like, not really sure what to think yet. All these companies now are, are, are giving you instruments that you, you know, if you're an adult, you can't use your fingers on. They're really small, and so it, it's really nice to see odd oddities like this come along, where uh, it makes you think more about how you play and stuff, rather than just tapping, tapping on a keyboard. Suddenly a new world opened because it's a new instrument. Open world to new creation, I suppose. Even if you had 10 people, 10 good musicians with one of these, none of them should sound the same, I don't think. It's going to really um, bring out artists' personalities, I think. I like the motion sensors. And having the scales ready to play around with in the different modes, that's re really convenient and nice. I, I like the fact you've also got the effects and stuff up there. It's so nice to be able to have sounds going and then flick between different effects. Launching clips from Ableton Live, which if you know where, what they will do, you'll go straight to the button without even thinking. It could be amazing. The, the thought of being able to have samples inside this of like, you know, crazy vocalists, uh, ethnic singers and be able to bring them in in any key you like. I mean, yeah. that, that could be incredible. The 
The sounds are really cool and you can make any sound you want with it, right? I'm actually thinking how much fun it would be in the studio, actually, when you're recording. If you were a, a film, TV composer, I can see it becoming, say, something you have in your toolbox as another interesting instrument and sound that, that nothing else can do. I've just been looking at the software where you can, you know, you've got your programming options and I'd really like to spend a, a whole week with it locked up and um, get into actually setting up all your own, you know, motion control and, all, you know, once you're doing all your own sounds, I'd, I'd imagine it's going to be incredible, you know, absolutely amazing. It's a nice piece of wood as well, and everybody likes wood. Yeah, I love the design. And the aesthetics are beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful object. It's almost like, like you're frightened to touch it because it's so beautiful. It? Some kind of Geiger alien inspired thing, and it's also got an ancient kind of primal thing. It's not just uh, some like, plastic or whatever, it's, it's proper beautiful wood and you can see the grain, you know, it's lovely. The, the finish is incredible. It's got nice, nice bends on it, nice curves, a bit like a woman. You know, once you've had a few minutes on it, it's very comfortable. You get used to it, you know. It's just such a friendly form. Yeah, and who doesn't like fondling curves, you know? It's like, yeah, lovely. It just feels nice to hold and touch, you know? It's this beautiful, uh, very tactile thing. You want to touch it and stroke it. That's, uh, yeah, it works. Mm. And it does that. It could be my second wife, you know? I could definitely disappear in a bedroom with it for many hours. <laughs> this, this is like science fiction, isn't it? And just to realise, you know, for people that are going to play this instrument, it's absolutely amazing. Just incredible. It's part of the future. I think when people have seen it, they won't forget it. I can see this in the industry of music. Yeah, I think it could be used in the industry. And, and certainly you would get some fresh ideas from it that you don't get from anything else. Definitely, if you're a musician, you're going to love it. I think the joy in what this could be is how people make it their own. The kids I've seen, yeah, they're, they'll be flying all over it. The children will probably play this faster than the adults. It's an exciting experience. You know? It's outside the box. Interesting and original. Is we like original. This, this guy's a bit of a genius, you know? You've never seen anything like it, and you're not going to see anything else like it. I'm privileged to be one of the first to try it out. So yeah, nice one, guys. <laughs>